Okay, so we're going to show you how to add or delete users from your Unify Protect account. You can do this from either the computer or your phone. In this case, I'm going to do it from my phone. You're going to go ahead and open up your Unify Protect app. And once it opens up, it should take you to your main console screen. You're going to look for the little gear wheel. Those are the settings. On the iPhone, it's at the bottom right. Android may be in a different spot. You're going to click on that and select console. Once we go into console management, look for the little three lines. In this case, it's at the top left-hand corner. Android may be different. That's your submenu. We're going to click on that and select admins, which is two down. Once you select admins, it'll, you see the admin screen behind it. Click on there to bring it to the forefront. You'll see your current users that are assigned to your account up at the top. You see add user, click on add user. You have to select a role for the user, administrator, viewer, a member. Any people other than yourself or who you want to manage the account, I wouldn't let them be an administrator. They can mess up your whole account. So I would select viewer. You have to type in an email. The employee ID is optional, but you do have to select the onboard date or it won't let you move forward. So in this case, I'm going to put a bogus email in. That way we know which account it is because I'm also going to show you how to deactivate and delete an account. So ARH929 at gmail.com. That'll be our fake user. I'll make them um, an administrator just in this case. But like I said, I would make other people viewers. Then you'll see the add button pop up at the bottom right. Oh, we didn't select our date. So that's why it's not there. So you have to pick your start date. Once you do that, then you'll see the add button. Click add. The user is now in your system and it will have sent them an email to a link to get to your system to be able to get in. So this person we were going to hire, we're now going to fire. So we want to deactivate their account. Deactivating will keep them in the system, but it won't allow them to get into the system in case, you know, they come back or something or whatever the particular case is. So now go back into console management. Click your three lines, click on admins, and there we are. There's our fake employee, ARH929. Oh, but now we're certain after we've deactivated them, we, they're fired, they're gone. So we want to delete them. First, you have to deactivate. Once it's deactivated, then it gives you the option to delete. So you check next to their name, hit delete, and that's it. They're out of your system. And that is how you add, deactivate, or delete a user.